Hey you guys, let's start the new year off right tonight with a reading from the globe. <laughs> Tabloid. So here's the gum I'm chewing tonight, by the way. Bigley's free dent chewing gum. And terrible because I, I've been sad about all the dead celebrities we just had this the past year 2016 and now first first little story out of the gate is there one Chelsea Handler, all work, no play. They think she overdid on Botox. I guess her face is so so perfect. They think she overdid on Botox. The great fats be Leonardo DiCaprio. He's not a fat. He's terrible. Such my heart throb in the seventies. I'm serious. Oh, I got I got to see him in concert uh, as an adult back in the it was either the early two thousands or the late nineteen ninety. I think it was in, in the year two thousand something. Oh my goodness, that was that's a story. Let's see what it says. Come on, get happy. Former Partridge Family singer David Cassidy struggles to smile as age takes a toll on his matinee auto looks. Mm. Mm.
guess they had a lot of toxic things on that movie set. Terrible. Dementia fears for Tony Bennett. Memory lapses by Bennett could be a tragic signal of vascular dementia, the experts say. He's 90 years old. I can't, an insider close to Bennett says, I don't know if it's Alzheimer's, but I cannot imagine what else it could be if it's not that. I was under breaking news. gets a taste of her own medicine. Mm. What's going on here? You folks from across the pond, you need to chime in on this because you you would know better if this is real or not. But apparently Charles had women oh woman had Charles had woman on the side while romancing Diane. Shameless love rival. The lady in waiting, Sue Townsend's fling with Charles included vacations together. And Camilla hammered her fists on Charles' chest before storming out. filled with romance, but not with her. It was with other women. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. I'm sorry about that. So let's see. Nose job for Harry's baby. I'm so out of the loop. 
So, are they saying that Prince... It's better than sex. Hmm. Joel Rosenthal takes a stroll on his West Virginia farm with three black bears. And we play in the house and we get fed in the and we get fed in the house. And a biologist puckers up for his special. He's 74 years old, and he spends every day with black bears on his farm. Mm, what is that? Bradford Exchange Crystal Centerpiece. Now that is very pretty. Crystal Centerpiece. Celebrate the true love that's always in Daniel Craig is jealous of Rachel's honor career. His wife, Rachel Weiss. Well, he was, wasn't he James Bond? Was he a James Bond movie? How can you be jealous when you, when you were a James Bond guy? Oh, boy. Okay, so what's going on here with Pamela Anderson, the former Baywatch babe, puts on an eye-popping display and bears as a quiz judge for a top model. Kelly Clarkson. Hmm. I like Kelly Clarkson. Doesn't she have a wonderful story? Uh, American Idol story. You know, just everything about her. Age 91 is a good grandpa and drumming up business. Outside is grandson West, who is a painter and has an art stand. <clears throat> Ariel Winter, the girl from Modern Family. Kind of overexposed. No, she's really grown. shipping on these lovely dream products. Safety soles. Oh, doesn't that look nice and warm for 13 bucks? The soothing comfort for aching feet. Mm, 13 bucks from
chilling emergency as housebound star fights for every breath. Age and the toll of various illnesses and injuries have left Mary Tyler Moore wheelchair bound. The star of Mary Tyler Moore show is flanked by Cloris Leachman and Valerie Harper. And she also starred in Dick Van Dyke show. Speaking of I don't think I ever told you guys this. Do you know what I'm watching on Hulu right now? Oh no, I'm not watching it anymore because I've already watched all the episodes that were available. Um, Rhoda. <laughs> Do you remember that sitcom show? I'm pretty sure it's from the 70s. Rhoda. And um, Rhoda was on it. And then that lady Nancy Walker was her mother. That's one of my Hulu, that was on my Hulu watch list. Now I'm watching, I'm still watching That Girl from the 70s. What else are we watching on Hulu? Oh my goodness, Dawson Creek. You guys remember that show, Dawson Creek, I believe, from the 90s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but back to um, Mary Tarlett Moore and her rescue goal. Let's see what's going on with good old Mayor Mayor. Mm. Crippled by deadly medical woes, she, van she vanished from public view oh, five years ago. Mm -hmm. Now, new has obtained disturbing records showing emergency responders have been repeatedly called to her estate where she's battling a brain tumor, type 1 diabetes, blindness, pneumonia, and many bone-busting falls. Oh. show up at her home many times, days in a row. <sighs> Mary, who is now 80, is confused. She is just a shell of her former, former feisty self. Things you didn't know about Alex Trebek. He's 76 years old. And before he was doing Jeopardy, he was a game show host in 1965. He was born in Canada. He went and studied philosophy at the University of Ottawa. He worked for Canadian Broadcasting Corp. Oh, he was one of the men in black in the third. donated 74 acres of open land in North Hollywood to the Santa Monica Mountain Conservatory. A $2 million gift. On a, one of his TV show appearances on the Today Show, he revealed that he likes to sleep naked. Alex has 
portrayed himself in many movie and TV projects. Despite his heart attacks in 2007 and 2012, Alex is a junk food junkie. Still, for breakfast, Years he used to have Snickers and a Diet Pepsi for breakfast. He speaks five languages. Interesting. Um, newest medical mobile emergency system. Werewolf slaughtered his own. Michael believed the wife and his in-laws were spying on him for the Russians. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one. Bodies found in a fire were actually murdered. They were shot in their home. He killed three. Jitterbug. Coffee, tea, or cocaine. Stewart is guilty in drug mule scandal. I heard about that a month or two, maybe three or four months ago. I said, former beauty queen, Marsha Reynolds, had 60 pounds of cocaine in her suitcase when she was stopped on a JetBlue flight. Mm. Age 32 was nabbed when authorities at the LA airport found her entering with 60 pounds of cocaine worth up to 3 million bucks. <laughs> Terrible. Rogue gang, hair thief nailed for hell raising spree. Andres Arias was jailed for two years. The brazen, bald bandit who swiped thousands of dollars worth of hair growth products is putting down new roots in prison. What is this about? Andres Andres Arias pled guilty to a felony count of engaging in corrupt activity after he robbed dozens of Ohio pharmacies of their supplies of Rogaine, a pricey medication for balding men. The shiny-headed Arias, age 36, would then ship the drugs to New Jersey and sell them online. Then on eBay, oh my goodness, and he's forced to fork over $22,000 in restitution. It's not worth it, you guys. Anyway. Abominable neighbor swipes the holiday snowman. De La Cruz was arrested. wiped her neighbor's inflatable snowman right off his front lawn. Sold the ornaments and everything to buy drugs. The New Yorker, Denisha De La Cruz, was busted. And they saw her on the... <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a portable oxygen tank. Mm -hmm. Fashion. Oh, make sure I skip a paper. Fashion verdict by Casey Madden. 
she knows the score. You guys don't even pay any attention to these scores that she gives. Because to tell the truth, most of the time, I think she is so far off. Now, this time, finally, Ava Longoria, she did give Ava a 10 out of 10. That is beautiful. I will agree on a 10 out of 10. Now, Sarah Jessica Parker gets a 4. Chanel Monet gets a 1. Uh, Helen Mirren gets a 0. Now, I do agree that coat with that dress does not go. But look at how beautiful that dress is on her with the shoes. So, I don't think she should have got a zero. But Ava Longoria, beautiful. Hilary Duff only gets a two. But look how cute. She, that's a cute outfit for a young girl. Oh, she's cute. Jessica Alba. It's a three. This Santa Miller, nine out of ten. I would not give that a nine. That's just too loud, I think. And Nicole Gibbon gets a two. Oh, well. Oh, photo final. Let's see. Who did we have here? Um, Britney Spears. There's the cook. Hell's Kitchen. Is that the guy? And Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld, Sophia Vergara, oh, uh, oh my goodness, both of these guys are on the tip of my app, Ben, here we are, Ben Affleck, Is that the guy that sings Margaritaville? Is that him? And that's the uh, guy who played Iron Man. Oh my gosh. That bugs me when I Who that is. That looks really familiar. Is that Johnny Depp? That that kind of looks like John Hall, young Johnny Depp to me. I'm not sure if that's the Margarita Bell guy, I think. Ben Affleck. I don't know him. bonus section. Showbiz bigwigs are obsessed with keeping their stars sexy, slim, and trim and tall. Songbirds like Mariah Carey, Miranda Lambert, although Miranda Lambert really, she really has lost a lot of weight. Um, so let's see what they have to say. All right. She tra traded her Cheetos for low calorie nuts. That's wrong. Football food caper. Don't starve and you'll avoid binges. That's very true. That's so true about starving yourself. The best ever. 
was back in the day when I would work out five days a week and I would eat healthy and I would eat I would eat healthy and I I would watch my intake Monday through Friday. And then on Saturday I would just ate what I wanted and and that worked out really good. And then on Monday morning get back Melissa McCord, she lost 75 pounds. Hmm. Who is this? Chloe Kardashian. She ate frozen banana dipped in chocolate. How curb her cravings. That's a good idea. You gotta have something that kind of curbs your craving. Uh, she, Chloe, went down. Jessica Simpson, she's really lost a lot of weight. Uh, she's, she's, I guess, a, a smoothie addict. She's got a recipe for a, a protein powder smoothie. Mm -hmm. Rihanna, she's just doing the right thing. She changes her menu with the seasons. Britney Spears, she counts her calories. Oh, that is really true. You you do have to watch your calories. You, you just can't expect to eat 3,000 calories each day when you're just home doing nothing. Now if you're at the... Working out like Mr. Universe or, you know, burning up the calories, then yes, you can eat them, but it really is. You gotta watch your calories. Cameron Diaz, Diaz keeps, she keeps her end game in mind. That's a good attitude. Katie Holmes, she eats berries. Katy Perry takes vitamins. And Jennifer Hudson. She takes the stairs whenever she can, and she makes a game out of it. And Sofia Vergara, she sets limits, yes. And then we've got the risky celebrity weight loss fads. Um, Chris Martin from Coldplay, he eats normally for six days, and then he fasts one day. Weird. I don't know if that works. And then Kylie Jenner, she loves to detox with tea, which supposedly removes toxins from the body. And Kim Kardashian is rumored to have taken diet pills, which are dangerous side effects, and diarrhea. And Lively likes to drink green juices from vegetables and fruit. Oh yeah, juicing. I think we all know that juicing fruits and vegetables is an awesome uh, way for weight management. Let's go. Frame it. Man, celebrity news. Man Eater, Shaw Shaw's Bedroom Secrets. She seduced Richard Nixon and even her own stepson. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know if that's true. Sean Connery, Frank Sinatra, Nikki Hilton, and Richard Nixon. news. How 
fix your fatigue and get more energy. Now what are they trying to sell us? They have a product, get energy. It looks like an onion broth or some kind of broth. But I just found, I just did a video. restored my energy like you would never believe so do your research on daily digestive enzymes or you could hear what I have to say about it in the video um, I posted it on uh, yesterday New Year's Eve December 31st there's a rambling video Digestive enzymes, I'm, I'm finding this all out. That no matter what you put into your body, whether it's protein powder, the, all the supplements, without digestive enzymes, you just, it goes right through your intestines and you never gain, it never gets absorbed into your body. You have to have digestive enzymes for, for anything to be absorbed and digested properly. Um, So do your research and see if that's something you might want to include to help you feel better, feel more energized. And I buy the Source Natural brands of daily digestive enzymes. I get it from Amazon uh, Prime. They have the best prices. Hmm. Then, uh, then the local which Dementia Diagnosis. Response in the brain can be a precursor to Alzheimer's. Uh, popular painkiller tied to hearing loss. They're saying that Tylenol may increase hearing loss in women. Interesting. They said that 10% more women were likely to develop hearing loss using Tylenol. And during marriage, fight strokes. Married stroke victims live longer than single people who have suffered the similar condition. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. I think that's true with anything. Love, love really does. important thing every day is love uh -uh. the M word is good for you sit right there auto arousal five times a week can cut prostate cancer risk by a third Jennifer Lawrence, excuse me, I said Jude Law. It's Jennifer Lawrence says she's no fun at parties. <laughs> she's the Hunger Games haughty Jennifer Lawrence. But in real life, she's a mess of jangled nerves and crippled by an out of control anxiety attack. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Her issues are so bad. Her friends, like Bradley Cooper say, are begging Jen to get help. She's been dealing with uh, excruciating anxiety and panic attacks for a long while. <laughs> she was so She tries to cope by drinking and ends up getting drunk. 
Mm. Oh, remember I Love Lucy? Um, she proved she was a showbiz trooper when she continued filming for um, I Love Lucy when she was choking to death. <gasps> the one where she's stomping on grapes. When one of the red grapes got stuck in her throat? I didn't know that. She kept on stump stomping until the scene wrapped. And the crew realized she was in trouble, but she was dying, but still pulled off one of the funniest TV scenes of all time. I didn't know that. Martin Sheen's baby mom. Brooke in rehab. They split in 2010, but she's on... She's smoking crack. Classy Dolly's Heart of Gold. After a devastating waterfall fire, Dolly Bart decided to help the victims and she raised $9 million. Oh, Ben Affleck is blaming J Lo for the flop movie Chile. <laughs> mm, boy, get away. Personal ads. Uh, I'm gonna do a thing on the Sheila Wood personal ads, one of my favorite. Now, who is this? Is that um, Beyonce? I don't know. Arnold. You fired. Well, Arnold Pettis, Donald, you fired. Trump's replacement, Arnold Schwarzenegger, wants a signature line for terminating contestants' ambitions. You're fired. That's funny. Uh, action star Arnold is the boardroom. The new catchphrase. Everyone is wondering what Arnold is going to say. Is the obvious line just Terminator. House of La Vista, baby. Oh my goodness, I would love this. If he does the apprentice instead of you'll fall, you'd, you'll fall, you'd. Oh, I love that. Remember on The Office when Michael Scott was disgusted about something and he, he didn't like the way Donald Trump kept telling everybody, he says, that's all Donald Trump says. You'll fall, you'd. You'll fall, you'd. <laughs> but look, they're thinking of having Arnold replace it and look at what his tagline will be hasta la vista baby that'd be a good one or instead of saying I'll be back he could say you won't be back oh my goodness I will love this I, your pink slip is showing and you're expendable you're terminated oh my goodness he made it very clear that he has no interest in being involved I'm the host and I'm the new boss and I'm going to run this show. They thinking they're thinking that he's hired. I think I think he should say Asa La Vista, baby. Followed by I'm the potty pooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a good one. I hope this is true. Um, Molly Ringwald. And Luke Perry are in a new role, romantic role together. Oh, well, this has been fun. Oh, 53% off the Globe magazine. Mail this coupon. Send me. Sexual workers use dildos to chase off. 
crook. I've heard about that before. My transplanted penis ain't working, says Thomas Manning. Oh, I didn't know you could really transplant a penis. Mm, classified. think he's faking. So, boy. Six million dollar man didn't get a dime. Lee Majors became faster and stronger, but recently he revealed that it didn't make him any richer. Oh. There, he's saying he hasn't seen any money from the series. That's crazy. No. at the Arizona Biltmore Hotel in Phoenix. Oh, they'd been married for just three days. Oh, I love flashback Holy And I love the Reagans. And I love Omaha Steaks. Oh, is that fun?